internet, so this is going to be my Readorama vlog for the Readorama round 7, I think. Um, it's 12.30 a.m., so it's technically started, and uh, I need to go to bed. I worked kind of late tonight, and so I still have all this, like, energy, and so I'm not sleepy yet. Uh, but I need to go to bed because I need to wake up at 7 to go to work again. So I'm going to go to bed and read. And I needed to start on one of my Readorama books. So I just wanted to remind y'all of what my TBR is. Um, I posted my TBR video a little while ago. But I've got Wires and Nerve by Marissa Meyer. This Savage Song by Victoria Schwab. Every Heart a Doorway by Shauna McGuire. Second Chance Summer by Morgan Matson, And Messenger by Lois Lowry. And I decided not to do the Read 7 Books Challenge because I do work full time and I just know that there's no way I can do that. I have a hard enough time reading 7 books in a month nowadays, so I knew it wasn't going to happen in a week. But I just finished a book tonight, actually. Um, I finished reading Americana by Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie. And it's almost a 600 page book. Um... And it took me a while to get through it, um, so I decided to start the readathon off with a short book because I just need to get through something. Um, so I'm going to start with Every Heart a Doorway by Shauna McGuire. I'm going to start reading this until I get ready to fall asleep and then continue it tomorrow. So we'll see how it goes. I've heard such amazing things about this book and I'm really looking forward to reading it. Um, I think I'm going to really like it. can't think of anything else to say. Other than I clearly need to go to bed. So I'm going to do that. And then we will fast forward on to the rest of day one. So it's officially day one of Rito Rama. And I read about 30-ish pages of Every Heart of Doorway last night. Which is basically the first chapter. Um, and then I was tired finally so I went to sleep but I don't really have an opinion on it yet because I haven't read enough but I'm definitely intrigued so I'm hoping that I'll be able to read some at work today during my break and then maybe even finish it tonight so that way I can go ahead and have a book done so we'll see what happens I'll have to let you know but I'm really excited because today's the first day in like over a month where I felt good enough to wear contacts because my allergies have been killing me so I haven't been wearing them and I finally wore them today for the first time in over a month. So it's kind of weird not having glasses on. But I'm also excited because I've kind of missed being able to wear my contacts every now and then. So that's good. I don't know if I mentioned this already, but I'm also like 250 pages into Hollow City by Ransom Briggs. I'm listening to it on audiobook in my car. And that's over halfway. I think I have like four full discs and then like the rest of the disc I'm on or something. Maybe it's three. I don't know. But since I'm so close, I decided to go ahead and continue this audiobook this week as well before I listen to the audiobook from Messenger because it's only three discs since it's such a short book. So I will be including those pages in my like overall wrap up at the end of the week. So I'm off of work and I managed to listen to about 30 pages or so of Hollow City today, but I only read like 15 maybe of Every Heart of Doorway, so I don't have to work tomorrow, so I think I'm going to run me a bath and maybe try to finish Every Heart of Doorway tonight, because I mean it's not big, it's only like 160 something, 80 something pages, so I feel like that's a pretty reasonable goal, you know? So it is day two of Readorama, and this morning I finished reading Every Heart of Doorway by Shauna McGuire, and I really, really loved it. Um, it was just so unique, and the writing was beautiful, and it was so diverse and wonderful, and I'll talk more about it in my wrap-up for June. Yep, that's the month it is. But I really, really loved it, and I'm really excited about the fact that it's day two and I've already finished a book. So, I have today off. And I pretty much just plan on reading most of the day because I'm a bit behind on the amount of books I usually read for the month. Um, so it kind of took me a while to decide which book I wanted to read next. But I think I'm going to read The Savage Song by Victoria Schwab next because 
I feel like it'll be kind of a good transition after reading Every Heart of Doorway because it talks a lot about like portal worlds and fantasy worlds and like monsters and weirdness and since this is a book about monsters I feel like I would be super into this right now and plus the sequel comes out tomorrow actually so I want to read this so that way I can get my hands on the sequel so I think it's gonna be my next read and uh, we'll see how it goes so it's about 7.30 now. Um, I have started this Savage Song. I'm on chapter 5, which is on page 44. And it's very interesting so far, the way um, it's kind of being set up a little at a time. And I'm really enjoying the writing. Of course, I knew I would enjoy the writing because I love Victoria Schwab. But um, so far, so good. I think I am going to take a bath later and read in the bath because that's one of my favorite things to do. Um, but I'm also considering maybe sitting out on my porch and reading for a little while because it's kind of cooling off a little bit. It's still hot and humid, but not as bad since the sun's going down. So I'm thinking I might go out on my porch for a little while before I take a bath and read out there and take my dogs out there with me. They really like sitting on my porch because it's screened in. So I don't have to worry about them somehow getting through the rails or anything like that or anything blowing in really. Only very, very small things can get in, which is really nice. So I think that uh, I'm gonna do that. So you know, I'm just sitting here reading my book, minding my own business when someone decided to get in my lap. I won't stop licking me. Then there's this one. What do you have to say for yourself, Daisy? Hmm? What do you have to say for yourself? Not much. Mm hmm. This is what my life is like. So it's midnight, and I have to get up at like. 5.30 in the morning, so I've made good decisions today by still being awake. Um, but I am about halfway through the Savage Song, almost halfway, and I'm really enjoying it so far. I've been reading it pretty much all day. Um, I'm on page 199. I mean, obviously I haven't only been reading today, but I've been reading a lot today, so feels good. Really enjoying it. I'm hoping maybe by Wednesday I will have it done. So, we shall see, but I am going to get ready to go to bed now because I, I, I need to go to bed. I have to get up early and go to work, so I guess we'll see what happens tomorrow. So it's day three of Readorama, and I don't think I filmed an update this morning, so I guess this is my update for the day. Thank you for your input, Ringo. Much appreciated. Um, so... I read some on my break today. I'm on part three, I think, which is page 233 of The Savage Song and got to like a really like intense part whenever I was reading it on my break and I did not want to stop and I had to go back to work. So I'm going to be doing this tonight. Also, I haven't really talked about my progress with Hollow City since I mentioned that I was going to finish up the audiobook this week. But I went um, and looked at my physical copy when I got off work, when I got home from work. Find out kind of like where I was in terms with where I'm listening and what page I'm on. And I think I've got maybe like 50 pages or so left. So I'm almost done with Hollow City too. And then I'll be able to read Messenger, which was my other audiobook pick for Readorama. My actual audiobook pick. I just happened to be finishing up Hollow City. Um, so... I'm hoping that tomorrow I can finish up Hollow City and then start listening to Messenger on Thursday. So that would be awesome. And I'm going to try to maybe even finish the Savage Song tonight because it's pretty quick read and I'm like super into it right now. It's 8.30. I'm really tired because I got up at 5.30, but I might try to push myself a little bit and see if if nothing else, see if I can get close to finishing it so I can finish it, like, tomorrow during work. So, we'll see how that goes. I'll let you know. So it's, like, 
10 p.m. on day four of Readorama, and I forgot to update again this morning. That's just the way it is. So, I just finished The Savage Song by Victoria Schwab, and it was so good. She did it again. It was awesome. I definitely didn't love it as much as her Shades of Magic trilogy, but I still really loved it. It was so unique and so cool. And I gave it a five out of five stars. And I can't wait to get my hands on our dark duet. It just came out yesterday. I pre-ordered it at my indie bookstore that I love, Parnassus, um, because there's going to be a Victoria Schwab event there on Saturday. And I have to work. And I'm so mad. And there's going to be other authors there too. If you pre-order or even just like order a book, uh, from an author that's going to be there, they will sign it. And then I'm going to go pick it up next week. And so I'm so excited to get our dark duet. But anyway, back to the readathon, because that's why you're watching this. Um, so I decided, um, I didn't want to jump into my last big book just yet. Um, before I do that, I'm going to read Wires and Nerve by Marissa Meyer. I think a graphic novel will be a good kind of breakup in between everything. Um, and I'm also like 20 pages away from finishing Hollow City um, on audio, so I am like almost done with that book. It's definitely going to be finished by tomorrow, and then I'll get to squeeze in Messenger before the end of the week. So it's, it's 10 o'clock. I've been up since 5.30, and it's been a really rough day. So I think I'm going to start getting ready for bed, and then I'm going to see how much of this I can read. So I imagine I probably won't update again until tomorrow. So it is now day five of Readorama and last night I started Wires and Nerve by Marissa Meyer. Um, I got like 70 something pages in which is the equivalent of like the first two chapters of the graphic novel and then I was just too tired to keep going so I quit but I'm going to try and finish it um, today for sure and I'm also going to be finishing Hollow City because I've got just enough left I think to make it to work and maybe partially home as well before I finish it so hopefully I will finish two books today I don't remember if I filmed this morning but I guess I'll find out whenever I go to edit but it is 10 o'clock at night on day six yes day six and uh, I'm very tired I just closed tonight and on my way home I went by Sonic because they have half price shakes and ice cream slushes after 8 p.m. They got me a cherry ice cream slush. It's quite good. And some tots because treat yourself. Um, I'm almost done with Wires and Nerve. I didn't get to finish it quite as quickly as I was hoping to, but I only have like 20 pages left, which is going to take me like five minutes to read because it's a graphic novel. So I'm planning on starting Second Chance Summer tonight. And I also started Messenger on audio today. So once I start Second Chance Summer, I will have officially at least started all of the books on my TBR for the week, which is really cool. Now there's only one more day of the readathon, but we'll see what happens tomorrow. So it is the last day of Readorama. Um, last night I finished up Wires and Nerve by Marissa Meyer, and then I also started Second Chance Summer by Morgan Matson. I got two chapters into Second Chance Summer, and then I brought it with me to work today so that way I can read it on my break. And then hopefully I'll be able to get some more read tonight. I know I won't be able to finish it because it's too big of a book. It's like 400 something pages, but I'm hoping to make at least a pretty good dent in it and see if I can get through some more of the Messenger audiobook today. So we'll see how that goes. So I just realized that I forgot to do kind of like a wrap up of uh, Readorama. So I started off the week by reading Every Heart a Doorway by Shannon McGuire. Uh, finished that one, and then I went into The Savage Song by Victoria Schwab. Finished that one, loved it. Loved both of them, really. And then I read Wires and Nerve by Marissa Meyer. I started and finished three full books. When the week started, I was on around page 250 of Hollow City and listening to the audiobook, and I did finish that book as well. So I read about half of that book also, so I finished three and a half books this week, which is pretty good. Uh, I didn't expect to finish all five of the books, so I think that's pretty good. I'm really happy with that. I also started listening to the audiobook for Messenger by Lois Lowry, and last night I got to page 48. So, 
I read about a third of Messenger, and then I also started Second Chance Summer by Morgan Matson, and I got to page 60 in that one. So still got a long ways to go in that one, but I'm pretty happy with how I did this week, especially considering how busy I was. I worked six of the seven days in the week, so I think that's pretty good. Let me know down in the comments if you did Readorama and how you did, and uh, that'll be it for this video, and I will see you guys next time with another video.